The so-called holiness movement in the United States took place in the late 1800s and resulted in the charismatic or Pentecostal movement starting in 1901. The reason for this development? The sense that mainstream Christianity was lifeless and worldly. You can easily see how a lack of faith among church-going people could result in a backlash of emotional services, altar calls, and hellfire and brimstone preaching. But short of a movement, there's a better way to revitalize the church. This video is a call for Christians to reignite their faith. Hebrews chapter 11 says, Without faith it is impossible to please God, for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. This revival of the faith is not a corporate movement. It's a personal commitment to establish and strengthen one's own faith. It can begin with just one person, but when it happens throughout a congregation of God's people, things begin to shift in a positive direction. In turn, because of the infectious nature of genuine faith, an entire community can be affected and it can reverberate even farther. Do you believe in God and in Jesus Christ and His Son and His sacrifice for our sins? Do you let that belief guide you in your life from day to day? If you find your faith is weak and you struggle with living it out, there are some things that you can do to bolster it. First, people tend to think that the spiritual disciplines, such as prayer, fasting, meditation, and scripture reading, are for people who have faith. In fact, these disciplines build faith. Second, if you find yourself struggling, it may be because you have cut yourself off from others who have faith. Hanging with faithful is just one of the surest ways of making yourself strong in yours. But it isn't those who are struggling with what they believe to be weak faith that are the, of the greatest concern. It is those who appear to be strong and are not struggling to maintain their faith at all. These are the people who come to each service, check all the boxes, and then return to a life without being affected in their spirit. These are the ones that make a hyper-emotional revival seem necessary. When a church is full of such people, it becomes like the church at Sardis, which the Spirit described as follows. I know your works. You have the reputation of being alive, but you're dead. Wake up and strengthen what remains and is about to die, for I have not found your works complete in the sight of my God. Imagine, on the other hand, a church filled with people having vibrant, contagious faith who are living out their faith in service to God and to others. So stoke that fire within and pass the flame on to others around you. Now, here are some questions for you to ponder. Think of a person whose faith you admire. Exactly what is it about them that draws your attention? Second, name one way you can emulate that person so that others might detect that same faith in you.